On December 28, 2016, Tekad Purna, an Indonesian pilot, stumbles through airport security looking and acting drunk. He drops his belongings, struggles to collect them, and gets as far as the cockpit before he's finally stopped. What gives him away? His slurred cockpit announcement, which worries passengers. The pilot is pulled out of the cockpit after they demand he be replaced. Purna's drug test results come back negative, but rumors surface he was high on gorilla tobacco, a synthetic cannabinoid more powerful than marijuana. Netizens who used the drug recognize the effect and insist the pilot was on it. The National Narcotics Agency says there is no evidence and that they detected nothing, but international experts say ever-evolving synthetics are difficult to detect. It requires a long process and high-tech machines to identify. Officials have yet to offer an explanation for Purna's behavior, but the incident put a spotlight on this so-called super tobacco, which is spreading quickly through Indonesia. So of course we got interested in what this super tobacco is about. So we decided to look a little bit online and even look at Instagram because we hear there is an actual hashtag dedicated just for this. When you scroll through the hashtag, it's filled with commentary about how strong and how good Gorilla Tobacco is. There are photos of the stuff and yes, numbers to contact if you want to order. So we clicked on one account and got the number they provided. A friend of ours then took the number that we found on Instagram and at about 3.19 p.m. added the dealer's number through a messaging app. He sends the dealer a message at 3.20 p.m. Bro, we want to order. How much for 2.5 grams? At 3.20, he gets a reply. Okay, it's 300,000 rupiah or about 20 U.S. dollars. Our friend tells him where he is and the dealer says he'll send it over via a motorcycle hailing app. The dealer then asks for a friend's information like name, address, and telephone number, which he provides by 3.23 p.m. The dealer sends over his bank account at 3.24 p.m. and says he's preparing the package by 3.25 p.m. By 3.32, our friend sends him a photo of the bank deposit receipt and by 3.54, the dealer sends back a screenshot of the motorcycle driver's details. That's just 30 minutes since their first contact. The package is on its way. Chemicals in synthetic marijuana are varied, but experts say the most troubling is a chemical called AB Chiminaka. If marijuana only partially binds to brain receptors, this chemical fully binds to receptors, making the effect of the drug all the more powerful and dangerous. Synthetics have caused death to some of its users. In Indonesia, the earliest media report of gorilla tobacco consumption was in early 2015. It wasn't until May 2016 that the National Narcotics Agency officially identified the active compound as AB Chimanaka. In the United States, it's said to have hit the market as early as 2006. Synthetics are presumably manufactured in illegal Chinese labs and shipped abroad. Similarly, authorities here believe that AB Chimanaka is not produced locally but imported. It's been confiscated a few times by customs in Indonesian airports. So we're going to go ahead and open this package that um, the deliverer said was a football jersey. And there is cloth that they provide, but also inside the batik shorts is this gold packet. So it's a small Ziploc. We'll open it to see what's inside. And sure enough, There's some smoking paper or just paper and very, very strong smell. Very strong smell. It's completely ironic how easy it is to obtain this powerful stuff in a country like Indonesia, which is known for having some of the strictest drug laws in the world. Here, the government is waging an all-out drug war. Drug convicts, both foreign and local, are executed regularly. Under Indonesian President Choko Widodo, 18 have been executed for drug-related crimes. We were curious to know exactly what the effect of this drug is, and it wasn't hard to find people who were willing to show us. Here's the thing. As of this shoot, girl tobacco was not yet one of the substances regulated by law, which means police can't arrest people trafficking or taking it. Perhaps that's also why it's so easily accessible and, as we learn, 
why it's a common choice for students and young professionals. So we're here right now and we're going to see exactly what the effect is for ourselves. Not exactly myself, but someone is here with us and he'll show us how they actually roll this and how they then smoke it and what the effects are. Why is this so addicting and why are so many people into the small little packet? So you only need this much, right? As you can see, it's very little that's needed for this uh, one roll. Although we know that the packet has 2.5 grams, so you can imagine how many hits one packet can give you. Okay, so I'm watching him now and his hands were trembling a bit even right after the second and uh, his eyes are really, really red. His pupils are super red. Uh, what does it taste like? More like cigarettes or marijuana? He's saying it's completely different and it doesn't taste like any of those, either of those. He says two drags are more than enough for a high that goes up and down for 30 minutes. Take more, then the effect is completely different from what we see here. Take about seven and it becomes frightening. You become paranoid or, as our guest calls it, possessed. Like this YouTube video showing this security guard high on Gorilla Tobacco. <laughs> a dealer we spoke to but didn't want to go on camera says he earns about 60 million rupiah a month or $4,500 just from Instagram and by selling to his classmates at his university. That's someone who only sells it on the side. Imagine full-time drug dealers. So we decided to talk to National Narcotics Agency spokesperson Slamet Prabadi to ask him about what they know about this disturbing drug. Ketika hilang kesadaran sebentar, menurut mereka itu seperti ditimpa gorila. Oh. Nah, itulah yang namanya seperti tipe gorila. Kemudian setelah itu timbul halusinasi. Hmm, okay. Bahkan itu kata kata dokter bisa merusak ginjal. Bahkan sam, ketika pada tingkat tertentu itu bisa menyebabkan kematian. Hmm. There's something we want to show you. Um, so on Instagram. There is a hashtag, uh, Demba Kamakosfer, yeah. And then there's pictures, Maybe, yeah. right? And Aldeva. so for instance, if I click that, mm, okay. you know, it, so it's, it's very visible online because it's not mm -hmm. illegal. And then there's actually one of these posts, they'll give you a number that you can call mm. online. So then, mm. you know, online, uh, do you contact them? and they just ask for your name and they will deliver it mm. to your footsteps. So, is the government aware of how easy it is to access? Mm. And um, what can we do about this problem? Ya, yeah. sebetulnya pemerintah ini <coughs> uh, sangat melarang situs-situs yang digunakan untuk uh, kejahatan. Situs-situs uh, yang digunakan untuk um, menghujat orang lain situs-situs yang rasialis itu, dilarang di Indonesia. Namun karena kemajuan teknologi, ketika diblokir satu, tumbuh seribu. Demi juga soal perdagangan narkotik. Uh, BNN sudah mengumumkan kepada masyarakat agar ketika masyarakat menemukan link situs baik di pet, line, Instagram, Twitter, supaya memberikan laporan ke BNN. On January 9, 2017, the Ministry of Health added Gorilla Tobacco as one of 27 new narcotics regulated by the Narcotics Act No. 35 of 2009, making it officially illegal. Will it change the way Indonesians are consuming the drug? Dilema sih sebenarnya. Pasti pasti ada yang jual, Mbak. Ganja aja yang ilegal aja ada yang jual. Apalagi ini yang legal, pasti dijual. Ilegal pun dia pasti ada yang beli. Pasti ada yang beli. 